Welcome back to my channel, which did my favor. One of my clients, my baby, called and said, Dima, I want this gown. Mm. I said, oh, no problem. I'm going to deliver. Putting it together won't be difficult, but cutting the pattern is where you have a problem. So without wasting much of our time, let's dive into the video. Okay, I'm going to create my little door chest, a black door chest, because that is what she wants black door chairs it's the first time i've going across my channel thank you so much give this video a thumbs up if at any point it's helpful without wasting time let's dive into the video okay i'm going to take my shoulder measurement okay from your shoulder you take your bust under bust half length and the actual length of the gown mm, this is skimpy wear okay so you take the actual length where your client wants it to stop yeah thank you so much to my returning subscribers you are amazing thank you for always taking time to watch my videos thank you for commenting thank you for your thumbs up please after watching my videos if in any way they are helpful what is stopping you from giving it a thumbs up my dear is totally free nobody is charging you for that subscribe to my channel let's go together as i keep dropping more amazing videos okay all right at this place i'm going to take my chest measurement all right you still need your chest measurement remember the clothes you are going to recreate as you can see it up on the screen so i'm drawing a line across my chest measurement now remember that when drawing an off shoulder you're going to minus few inches from your actual shoulder measurement i'm sure you remember that because up on this channel we already have something of off shoulder on this channel okay so you see the actual length of my shoulder right now i want to minus about 1.5 inches mm. I first marked my shoulder measurement then i went ahead to minus 1.5 inch you can go ahead and minus two inches if you want this is a cow neckline okay so i'm going to take the circumference of my bust divided by four i'm going to mark that out in order for me to be able to create an armhole mm. okay here i'm just marking all other measurements Okay, we are putting a lot of measurement out. My waistline I'm working with. Alright. And I'm going to go ahead and mark my hip on the hem area. I forgot to put my hip line. So I'm going to go ahead to do that. Please don't forget. Thank you so much. Give this video a thumbs up if you are still watching up to this moment, which means you like what you've seen. What's well, stopping you from subscribing and joining the family? Thank you so much. I cannot appreciate you less for your effort. All right, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and take my hip measurement. Okay, your hip circumference divided by four. I'm going to mark it out, and what I have there, I will proceed to take it to the hem of the gown yeah so that is just it go ahead and put all the lines together all the markings if yours is not curvy like this just make sure you have your exact waist measurement okay just go ahead and take your own accurate measurement all right i'm just putting the whole of it together and that's it all the dots we already marked out just go ahead and use your ruler and connect them she's curvy you know she's a six pack girl you get so don't mind how curvy it is it's her body okay but make sure that no edge is sharp always make sure of that that you don't have sharp edges i went ahead to connect my armhole good okay so coming to my neck depth i decided to come down by about them um, two inches which i later did not use okay i just decided to let me use the actual length of the chest 
because it's a cow neckline you want it to fall very well so just go ahead and use a ruler to connect it to meet your shoulder line i have a detail tutorial on how to cut an off shoulder for a bustier a princess bustier right so you see what we have that's just it now we're going to add a sewing allowance if you're following my channel you notice that i always want to add my allowance anytime i draw a pattern so what i used here was 1.5 inches but you can use one okay you can use one it's still okay you can use 1.5 so you won't run any shortage it's still okay whichever one you decide to use is still perfect all right so this is basically it for this pattern okay mm -hmm. if you're watching up to this moment you like it so subscribe yeah you like it that's why you're still here subscribe give this video a thumbs up we keep bringing it to you as it is hot all right i just went ahead to cut my pattern now remember this is my chest line right from this chest line i want to step down about two inches Mm, two inches to 2.5 you can still use your bust line if you want but i stepped down by two inches to create my cow neck okay this coat has a cow neck line i'll just mark a line across okay that's it after marking a line i'm going to go ahead and open it Mm, I'm going to open it. I have a little story on how to draw a cow neckline, right? It's up on my channel, okay? So you can go and check that out. So this is how we are going to put it. We'll open it up once we place it on the fabric, okay? Determine how wide you want it to be. All right, let's lay down the fabric. Okay, our fabric is properly laid down. Mm okay i've gone ahead to pin everything so i'm going to open this up you can see the way i'm doing that i'm going to open it up how wide i want it to be is all depend on you okay open it up i'm sorry that my camera did not hold that area but what i did was just to open it up or how why I want it to be like I said I have a detailed tutorial on how to create a cow neckline up on the channel okay go ahead and pin everything in place making sure everything is properly aligned okay i'm going to create a form of v-neck with a ruler just join a v-neck i didn't know that this place was not actually captured but now i'm sure you can see better so i'm going to create a v-neck from that my shoulder okay from that shoulder area i'm going to create a v-neck going to meet the upper air end of the fabric you see the way I slanted my ruler, right? So I'm going to gently... When working with the door chest, please be careful. Uh, be careful, okay? So that your work won't be messed up. Alright? Just take it easy, step at a time. So this is what we actually have. Alright? So that is just it. Go ahead and cut it out the way you have it this way. You can see the way I'm cutting it, right? Just go ahead and cut everything out. Okay, after cutting it, go ahead and remove the pins because we we'll use the pattern to draw the back or to cut the back. Okay, you see what we have, right? Mm -hmm. See what we have. So I'm going to cut from the waistline. 
yeah cut it from the waistline so we can draw the back you notice that the back is completely open and the material started just from the waist so just cut it out and go ahead and cut it so this is what we have for the back okay just go ahead and fold it all right like i said putting it together will not be difficult okay if you're watching from my facebook channel thank you so much you are very amazing if you're watching from my youtube ah you're so special to me i love you so much thank you so much for all your efforts on my channel give this video a thumbs up leave your comment subscribe share okay as i keep bringing you amazing tutorials all right this is the end of this video this is the end and the outcome of this clothes like i said putting it together won't be difficult but the pattern the reason for this video is to show us how to draft a pattern of this kind of way thank you so much and see you in our next video